OK, welcome to the Engage Natural Language Understanding presentation. How to create responses to an utterance. The user speaks to the device through the speech to text service provided by the operating system. This input is called an utterance. So let's see what Engage does with this. Instructions to interpret an utterance are stored within text files known as repertoires. Engage compares the utterance to the repertoire names, which are related to the interpretations within. None match any part of this utterance, so Engage cannot attempt to understand it. So it returns the base reply, I do not understand. Let's now look at the example where the user continues the conversation by saying, James needs eggs because he's baking a cake. Once again, Engage compares parts of the utterance to the repertoire names, but this time it finds two matches, one with the needs plus needs repertoire and one with the why because repertoire. Let's look at the content of these two repertoires to see what the interpretations look like. Each concept is supported by several repertoires. Each repertoire file contains the instructions to interpret the various utterances which use the words in the file name, as we've seen. These instructions and their configurations are written in natural language. There is a pattern to match the utterance, and then we have the interpretation group below that. In our example, one interpretation in each repertoire matches its pattern with the utterance, James needs eggs because he's baking a cake. Let's look at these in more detail. The blue represents parameters and the green represents string literals, which are the same in the utterance and the pattern. Engage now has to decide which interpretation to choose. It does this by measuring the pattern complexity, which will be explained in a later video. Engage sees that the because interpretation has the lower complexity. So this becomes the chosen interpretation. We see that the structure of an interpretation in general is on a matched utterance, do these things until a reply is found in a semicolon separated list. While this looks like natural language, it is essentially the source code for engage. This is what we mean by programming in natural language. So engage reads the utterance, finds the relevant repertoires, then finds any matching interpretations by pattern complexity and follows the instructions to return a reply. Users and organisations can build on the conversation by adding more repertoires which support groups of utterances. Hopefully it can be seen that the complexity of utterances, the quality of conversation is substantial. Here we see examples of interpretations from the why plus because repertoire and the need plus needs repertoire. The examples of repertoires which Engage supports is improving all the time. So these are just an illustration of what can be achieved by 
a few simple repertoires. So thank you for watching this video. More information can be found at engage.org.